The Justice Department had actually asked to sue to block the release of the book and to recover copies that have already been distributed. And the judge said to the Justice Department, I agree that there is likely significant classified information uh, that's contained in this book, but the, the proper fix for me is not to try to block the release because hundreds of thousands of copies have already been shipped all across the country. So the solution isn't to try to put the genie back in the bottle or the horse back in the barn. He said, basically, um, there's nothing I can do about that fact. But he did communicate very strongly to, to Mr. Bolton that he had concerns about the way he went about pursuing the book project. So we can actually anticipate that the Justice Department is likely to try to keep up its efforts to prevent Mr. Bolton from uh, profiting off the book and trying to seize any proceeds that he may get. That's a separate issue from their effort to block the book. And I think that that will continue. We also have seen President Trump already tweet about John Bolton, which is not surprising. And he suggested that nobody should be able to do this again and that Bolton has illegally um, published and disclosed classified information. I think one thing that's important to note, though, is that there's a lot of negative feelings on both sides of the political aisle in the United States towards John Bolton, because he has really significant revelations in the book. And if you remember during the impeachment uh, proceedings earlier in the year, he declined to uh, testify and appear voluntarily. He was obviously saving quite a bit of material for his book. And so even Democrats say, we appreciate that you're bringing this stuff to light against Donald Trump, but why didn't you do it sooner? And why didn't you do it during the impeachment trial when we actually could have used it? So nobody is really celebrating John Bolton per se at the moment, even among Democrats. Well, thank, thank you.